All right, hello everybody. My name is Sledge and welcome back to another subreddit. It's been a while since I've done one of these. So this time I'm looking at doing mildly infuriating. So it's those things that are just a little bit frustrating just to leave you a little bit pissed off. So uh, let's take a look here. I think the first one I'm going to start off with, I'm also standing up, so that's why I'm like moving myself all weird. Uh, this TV has been left like this at my school for two years. Mm, oh, yep. You, you know, very useful to just uh, have it not plugged in. I'm guessing they had a cart with a power strip on it. We had those in my school. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. It's just one of those things where it's just like, hmm, this seems def definitely useful. And uh, we could definitely make use of this as a school, but, uh, you know what, fuck it. Whoever does this to a school or a library computer should be locked up. <sighs> yeah, I can agree. I had actually had a laptop that I got from my mom. This was like my first ever laptop. I was like maybe 11 years old. And uh, the keys kept falling off of it. And it's just like, I can't, I can't do anything on this mom. I'm trying to sit here and play RuneScape or Roblox and it's just like, I can't. Uh, cause the but the buttons keep popping off, and she's just like, sorry, it's old, make do. And I'm just like, how do you do this, though? Granted, that thing was an old piece of shit Dell. I'm 20, that, and, you know, I'm 22, I was 11, so that was 11 years ago. So, uh, it wasn't that great. It's one of those laptops that, uh, actually, to date myself a little bit, it's one of those laptops where you actually had to slide the wireless card into it for it to have Wi-Fi. It was just this big card. And, uh, the thing was fucking heavy. And then it finally broke, so I smashed it with a rock and don't know what we ever did with it. Because I kept it as a kid, because I was a little hoarder, but I smashed it with a rock. What can you do? The motherboard blew up. The way my coworker opens her cereal boxes. This one's going to get me right... Right in the feelings. Alright. Oh, how do you do that? I've opened a cereal box pretty shitty before, like, I've actually torn one of the tabs, but that is just, like, how do you do that? Just, no, get the bags, alright, get the bags of the store brand, it's just as good, it's the same thing with a different name. If you can't open a box, just get, get the bags, you get more anyway. Now the secret bathroom is out. Long line today, there is an underutilized restroom directly above on the third floor with twice as many stalls. Really? I don't know how to feel about that one. Um, because if this is a, if this is a college library, I, I expect students to actually know it. But, um, I don't, I don't know. I kind of blame this one on the students for not paying attention because when I was going to college, and I was in the library, I made sure to know where every fucking bathroom was because I wasn't playing those games, okay? Like, no. When I gotta go, I gotta go. So I made sure I knew where every bathroom was. Ran out of tots. Oh, that bugs me. That bugs me so hard. Like, when I was working in a restaurant, sometimes I'd have to do the biscuit trays. And it bothered me whenever I'd run out. And I want to go open another box just to make it symmetrical. And our manager's like, no, that's fucking our food cost. I'm like, you're going to use it anyway. And we put the shit in the freezer. It's not going to go bad. Just let me do it. But they're like, no. And I'm just like, but why? But <sighs> it's short by two tots. That makes me hate it so much more. Leaving a one-star review because you didn't check to see if the movie was suitable. Not for children. Brought my 95-year-old daughters and left after a half hour because they were bored with it. Could be a better watch for adults, but definitely not for young children. The movie was Isle of Dogs. Also, pay no attention to my username. Wes Anderson is God. <laughs> I haven't seen Isle of Dogs, so I don't know. I'm very movie illiterate in terms of new shit. 
Uh, and by new shit, I mean I have not even seen the seen Justice League yet. Um, people keep saying it's bad, and I don't care. I want to watch it on my own eventually. But, uh... I mean... This is the same argument that... Actually, I got a little bit to say about this one. This is the same kind of shit that happened with Deadpool. Bunch of parents brought their kids, saying, Oh, it's a superhero movie! And then, um... Yeah... It wasn't good. Uh, even during some screenings, I heard... There was like a good 10 minute segment in front of the movie before it played where Ryan Reynolds were like, your parents are terrible for bringing you into this movie so I am going to go into a lengthy discussion of what sex is. So buckle up kiddos. And uh, yeah, I mean, pay attention. All the lights are off in this photo. I deal with this in my own apartment, because uh, I have, right by my front door, we have three light switches. And by we, I mean I. Don't know why I said we. But I have three light switches, and the, the first one and the third one go up and down and turn it on. The middle one, because there is another switch next to my TV, depending on it, that one will either be up to turn it off and down to turn it on, or they'll all be down, but then the one by my TV is turned up, is is switched up, to fucking have the lights turned off. And I'm just like, double switches are useful, but they, they, they piss me off. I hate it. So yeah, I feel this pain. I really do. Like, it's just, it's just not good. And, uh, people really need to reevaluate that because symmetry is very important. Ads that promote cheating. This is gonna be a good one, I swear. What in the fuck? Some monster at my job uses paper towels instead of coffee filters. I've done it. Not proud to admit it, but I've done it. Growing up poor, I've done it. I've also used coffee filters and paper plates. It's, you know, you do what you gotta do. Man, I can't really be mad about that one. And now I can't drink coffee because I'm diabetic. Just to suffer. Mildly infuriating construction edition. Oh my god. Why? 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 Why would you do this? Like... That one... It would look so good if it was flush with the edge, or if they both came over, but that one's like an inch off, and then that one is way over, and it's just like... Uh, who did this? Who hurt you? A note from a neighbor. I live here. We have noticed that you have been parking in the residential complex repeatedly, and for the entire night. We have also verified that your car does not belong to any of the immediate neighbor neighbors or their visitors. The limited parking spaces that homeowners or residents of our complex have for guests, service, or delivery vehicles, even emergency assistant vehicles, are the ones right outside each house. When outsiders choose to unduly park here, they are blocking these spaces in an undue manner. Please take notice of the signs posted at the entrances to the complex and refrain from continuing parking here. Thank you. P.S. We take note of vehicles make and license plate number. California impressions. I've had this problem. Because my parking pass fell off my window one day and they assumed I didn't live here. And I'm like, no, I've been living here for the past while now. Um, but also, you, you're not allowed to park in the guest parking spot if your fucking- if the fucking parking space is next to your apartment complex is full. You can't park in the guest parking. You have to find a different parking lot. The l rules are fucking stupid. So, that's mildly infuriating. Let me park my damn car. I need a screwdriver to open <laughs> the packaging of my screwdriver. Oh my god. I fucking- feel this because when I was working as a mechanic I had bought tools and I had to deal with this same exact 
fucking thing. Like, are you fucking serious? Like, what were... Because then you need to buy another screwdriver, but then you need another screwdriver for that screwdriver to unlock your screwdriver. It makes no sense. Who designed this? Why did you design this? It makes no sense. I could I could scream about it all day. But uh Yeah. It's just oof. I know the pain. After chopping potatoes, garlic, par and parsley, this knife got KO'd by the butter. How in the fuck did that happen? That is called, you have a knife with a cheap handle, and you should seek better. Those steaks do look good, though. See, that's not even mildly infuriating. That's just, well, fuck me, I guess. But seriously, how the fuck? Those steaks make me so hungry. Now I want food now. That's mildly infuriating. All right, that looks like it's it for mildly infuriating. Um, more of these were just more relatable than I thought they would be. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. There will be more gaming videos as well. It's mostly going to be Dark Souls. Uh, again, it's just finding the time. I am trying to do one to two videos a week. It's just sometimes they're only going to be one and it's going to be... If I missed a video, then the other type is going to be taking up its place. So typically it's going to be a game and then a vlog like these Reddit reaction things. Um, unless you guys have some other suggestions, so please uh, leave those down below as well. And uh, thank you. That's all I got to say. So... Bye.